Hello and welcome back to our Red Run Challenge in Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate, where we are continuing to do a little bit of high rank stuff to hopefully better prepare us for late G rank. So, this time we are going to be fighting a Zenogre once we find the quest. Apparently it's in HR5. Yep, there it is. So yeah, hopefully this will get us what we need. If not, then we do have one other option. So let's go for it. Okay, no defender. I can live with that. And we should be fine with what we have. Okay. So we're actually right next to where the Zenogre is going to start, so that's nice and handy. And actually, I don't need that paintball because Zenogre, as I've said before, is pretty easy to follow. And turns out he doesn't like having his tail hit. I'm actually surprised I hit with that round slash, but I'm not complaining. Whoa there, you went too far, buddy. And now you get that. But that's all you get. Again. That was a poor decision, Zenogre. You are really not the smartest dog, are you? Whoops. Dang, that would have been some, uh, or would have been a pretty good tail hit if I had managed to stay in and actually charge up a little. But unfortunately, I didn't stay in or charge up at all. So, didn't really get that whole tail hit thing. Oops. Really? Cat, why did you have to do that? If the cat had just left me be, I would have been able to at least hit his tail. But no, Cat decided that I needed to be tapped into the next area. It would be nice if Cat AI could be improved so that they would uh, better choose when to actually slap you. Like, when they launch you as you're already getting up from paralysis, that's pretty terrible timing. And I really wish they should they would never do that. They should never try and hit you out of something that you're already recovering from, is my personal opinion. Alright, puppy, let's do this. Okay, I deserve that. And it turns out that when you take your right hand off your system so that you can try and scratch an itch, it becomes tougher to dodge things. Of course, the left hand would also make it tougher to dodge, so really... It was a lose-lose situation if I wanted to scratch that itch. And I believe there went a claw. And now for stabbings. Of 
And I think we've got nine Fulger Bugs. The horns are broken and the tail is easy enough to cut off when he's not knocked over, so... Yeah. Just gathering here. And yeah, no third thing because we don't have speed gather. What is the sub? We already did it, that's right. Oh yes, stay tired. Excellent. And yeah, we did get that claw by the look of things. Which leaves his right claw as the only remaining break. And I am really good at running out of this area in this quest. Oh, hi. Where are you going? You leaving? Yeah, you're leaving. That's fine, I'll carve your tail. And get a tail from your tail. Makes sense. Yeah, you just kind of roll your head around like that. Well, that claw has to break soon. Oh, hey. Can I gather anything? No, nope, not quite long enough. Or not quite fast enough, depending on whether you look at it as being his fault or mine. Because really, anyone could be at fault. And now we've got full brakes. Oh, that jerk freaking dodged my supercharge. And now he's trying to charge up on his own. And I think he might full charge, considering he didn't flinch there. No. I guess he just didn't want to flinch for other reasons. Though it is true that we didn't hit his face. We hit his chest, which takes much less damage. Dang it. Wow! Between us and the cats, he is KO'd. And I should be gathering bugs. But I'm not. Oh, hey. Still actually hit him with that slap. And of course he's going to limp away now. If we're lucky, we might be able to flinch him to get one more sparkly. We'll have to see. He's pretty upset right now. I love dodging through attacks. That's fine, we can charge up here. Or not. We almost did. Ah yes, getting KO'd by attacks that don't launch me at all. Alright, our health's getting a bit low. Let's do something about that. And a little something more. Let's just let him get to sleep. Why not? I'll go mine this gold node just because it's there. Don't expect I'll get anything of value, but... Yeah, in fact, it's impossible to get heavy armor spheres from high rank. Oh, but that ancient shard might be worthwhile. 
Yeah, to get heavy armor spheres from high rank, you actually have to clear quests. You can't mine them. Which is a little unfortunate. But anyway, let's charge up on this guy's face. It should kill him, or at least discharge him. Yep. Unfortunately, it did not discharge him, so we don't get our second sparkly. But that's okay. We've still got a pretty good shot at getting everything we need. Alright. That's it for this quest. Now to wait for the base... Or, uh, to wait for the Hunter's Guild to come collect us. Not really much else we can do. At least, not much that's useful. But whatever. Hooray, we're done. Give me a lot of Zeno Oh, yeah, that's a lot of Zenoga parts. A lot of Zenoga parts. You're not a great sword. That was quick. Yeah, we'll save. Why not? There's no reason to not save. Let's just see what's in the Everwood. An Azure Rathalos. Have we done one of those in G rank yet? Maybe. I don't know. Alright, you... Wait, we need to forge it, not upgrade it. Yay, we can make it. And now the question is, can we upgrade it? Uh, we can if we go on the Stygian route. Oh, we're actually pretty close to this. And I don't think we have any Stygians and Ogre Umbridges, do we? Let's find out. things first. Okay, we do have an umbrage. So the question is, do we have enough Stygians and Ogre other stuff? We actually might. I'll have to look and see what it takes to upgrade the Stygians and Ogre thing. Because it might actually be possible for us to max that out. Oh, and hey, we can actually I haven't done this in a while. Let's send our cats. Okay, let's not send our cats anywhere because everywhere we could send them is terrible. Ooh, I know what I can do. Let's go to Sun Snug Isle and get us some more scatterfish. Unfortunately, that means getting this Plesioth out of the way yet again. So let's use a bunch of no skill cats for this. Maybe an experience boost. There we go. Please off, gone. All right, now let's bait and cast with a scatterfish catcher, a fearsome fisher, handsome haul, and another handsome haul. 
And another handsome hall, why not? Okay, we only got the one handsome hall active. Okay, got one scatterfish and two scatterfish. I feel like our scatterfish catchers are not really living up to their names. And looks like we can do yet another handsome hall. I'm beginning to think only one handsome hall can activate at a time. And yet again, precisely two scatterfish. But hey, that's a thing. So, uh, let's head on over to the Elder Hall. And what do you have for me? Just a regular VE ticket. And let's actually make some mega potions now. So that's actually going to be it for this episode. It'll be another short one. Join us next time when I will have done research to figure out whether I want the Stygian or regular Zenogre Blade. And then we'll do whatever it takes to get towards whichever one of those I feel like needing. Or maybe we'll do that Azure Rathalos in the Everwood if I haven't done that yet. I'll do a little bit of research and find out what the hell I've done because I don't necessarily remember. So yeah, join us next time for all of that. See you then, friends.